You know, every day I wake up and I look at AMC, the price, you know, I get very, very angry. I don't know how, how all of you feel, but I get extremely angry that we've been played. This whole thing was one big friggin' bait and switch scam, in my opinion. I'll say it's alleged, but that's just how I feel. And every single day I say to myself, why do I want to continue to put my money in a corrupt piece of garbage stock market that's run? I see this jerk off Ken Griffin in Miami, you know, I'm in Miami building skyscrapers, you know, and it's like using our effing money again, allegedly, but we know the truth. And it's like, I'm angry. I'm effing pissed. How are you not angry? How are you not pissed? And then for the people who say, well, I am pissed, they follow. But if, you, if you're if you still putting your money in Robinhood, in Webull, all these payment for order flow platforms that that piece of garbage devil Ken Griffin controls, no offense, I just think you're an idiot. I'm sorry. You know, you're still chasing. It's like you're still looking for that dream. And that's what, that's what Lou does. See, instead of Lou having a heart and saying to all of you, look, the stock market is corrupt. The uh, cryptocurrency industry, it's run by the BBC, the Billionaires Boy, Boys Club, you know. But you see, he keeps he keeps pounding that shit down your throat because at the end of the day, he only cares about himself. He only cares about YouTube ad revenue for himself. So he's going to keep that bullshit, unrealistic dream alive. Oh, XRP is going to 20000 you know. Look, I look back on AMC when I used to say things like I was a big cheerleader, the AMC to, to, to Pluto. The thing was, I was basing it. People don't understand what I was basing it on. I saw something I never saw before. I saw millions and millions and millions of retail investors. It was like a brotherhood. It was like a sisterhood. It's like none of you understood. I never saw this before in the history of my life. And we were all in this together. It was like David versus Goliath. It was us against the hedge funds. And I really, really believed, based on what happened with GameStop, that AMC was next in line. That's why I put my own money. I put up hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. I put my money where my mouth is, my laugh is. It's not, I'm not like Lou, who never showed his portfolio. And I get all this hate. I get all this hate. Why? I, I was in it together with, with all of my brothers and my sister, retail investors. I put up you understand? I deserve respect just like you deserve respect. But we all got played. That's it. At, at the end of the rainbow, we wanted a pot of gold and there was a pot of shit. Okay, there was the biggest transfer of wealth in history. It was our money to the hedge funds. It was our money to the short sellers. You know, talking about Bernie Madoff. Oh, Wall Street never seen anything like this before. This Ponzi scheme, $50 billion. Retail lost $350 billion. <laughs> Think about that. Retail lost three hundred and fifty billion in twenty twenty two, while Citadel made sixteen billion to get a slap in the wrist from the SEC for seven billion. Give me a break. That's why I'm done with this shit. Look, I don't know about all of you. I want to enter a new industry. That's it. All right, I'm going to keep working my ass off. Okay, I don't care if I have to freaking upload more videos than anyone on earth. I will do whatever it takes to get out of this corruption. OK, I want to enter a new industry where there's no more bullshit, OK, where there's no more Ken Griffin, there's no more Gary Gensler, there's no more uh, New York Stock Exchange halts, FTDs, uh, all this bullshit that we have to deal with. Threshold list, FINRA, DTCC, Adam, the friggin delusion, friggin Enron, mother effer. I'm tired of it all. OK, and I want to be the boss of bosses, you understand? See, that's how you get things done, you understand? When you're in the driver's seat, when you make all the decisions, it's your business, that's how you get rich, in my opinion. That's how you get rich. You're never gonna get rich hanging off someone else's friggin' balls, okay? Like, cause that's, when you put your money, in my opinion, in Robinhood, when you put your money in Webull, these platforms have been creatively, okay, made. OK, to make everything convenient for you, to appeal to the uneducated, in my opinion, to, to appeal to the, uh, you know, the not savvy investors. OK, because think about it. Anybody could put their money up. Anybody. You could be a person who never invested in the stock market, have no idea what's going on, you know, and you could put your money into these platforms. Don't think that wasn't done on purpose, in my opinion. That was done on purpose. That's why I make it very convenient. It's so simple to use. 
you know, because they want to attract idiots. And that's exactly what led to the biggest transfer of wealth in history. $350 billion would it be? I just don't want to see it happen anymore. Okay, that's why what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to say it's time to, to tell the stock market, which is controlled, which is rigged, in my opinion, go F yourself. And it's time to open up a new door, a new opportunity to a new industry. In my opinion, I'm looking for three things in my life that always work for me. Real estate, gold, and cash. But when I think of real estate, I think of the casino industry. To me, that's the biggest money maker in the real estate industry. One casino can outproduce 100 hotels. Okay. Now, how do I plan to get there? My goal is very simple. I want to get 1 trillion views. Okay. So how could you help me keep watching my videos? Watch all my, come to my live streams. That's another thing. You can give me a tip. Help me get started. An entertainment tip, which is a super chat. A couple of dollars. Because, see, a lot of people don't understand. They're like, why would I want to help you, a Father? Because, in essence, if I open up a new door of opportunity, eventually that can benefit everybody down the line. If I make a mark for myself, if I become established, people don't understand this. It's so it's just a simple arithmetic. If I open up a new door of opportunity, if I did something that no one else has ever done before, that's what I could get serious. Now, the whole world would take me seriously. They'll say, look what this guy, look what a Father did. This guy opened up Eight Fall, the King of the Jungle, Hotel Casino in Las Vegas. He, it's bringing in tremendous money, great location, great management. People are going to start taking me seriously. That's when, maybe down the line, I hire a securities firm. I do a, a major offering that has to get obviously approved for the SEC to get my retail brothers and sisters involved, maybe down the line. Not now. Now I'm looking to finance everything myself. I'm not asking for any investments, no solicitation for any investments. I'm looking to use my own money. But that doesn't mean if you believe in my vision, if you also believe the stock market is corrupt, if you also believe the cryptocurrency industry is corrupt and you think you're wasting your time, doesn't it make sense to help me open up a new door, a new opportunity where we could kiss all this corruption goodbye? I think it makes a lot of sense. What do you think? This video is now financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. This video is for entertainment purposes only.